Nicolas wanted the femme to, to look very fashion-y, but at the same time, not to be a fashion commercial or fashion shoot, to, to be like a, to have its own language that would be closer to a film language, that it wouldn't be a conventional, realistic language, because obviously he's not interested in that, but it would be our own language of the movie. And so it would have some glam elements to it and some elements from fashion borrowed to it, but without going completely into shooting a one hour and a half commercial. And it was my first movie to be shot on digital. So it was kind of scary for me because even though I'd done a lot of commercials, um, until then all my movies have been on film. So I was like, okay, I have to accept reality. Times are moving on, I have to go digital. And then of course for me it was no doubt that if I was going digital it was going to be Alexa. From my experience with digital and commercials and music videos, um, you know, I knew that Alexa would be the more, the, the camera that would look more the way I used to work with film. And, um, and that it would be the, you know, the, the, the friendlier one for the skin tones to get these porcelain skin tones on the girls and, and stuff. So it was no doubt that, you know, that would be the camera. I think we were extreme for many reasons. I'm quite extreme normally. And then you put me together with Nicolas Refn, who is very extreme himself, and it's not going to be social realism coming out of that. Um, so already as a principle, we were, you know, kind of, I think Nick kind of took me to push my safety zones, which are already not very safe, even more. And, uh, and so that was really interesting. Then I also found that for me, being my first experience with digital, I needed to do that as well, to take it out of the um, real look or reality look and, and find things that were a little bit more broken, more edgy that I would be happy with. Um, so I found early on in the prep process that I, I was gonna have to like flare the lenses, use old lenses and you know, do all kind of things to break up the image and help it to get more texture. Um, we also went quite extreme on the color because Nicolas loves color and because in a way the fact that the film is a, has this kind of surrealness to it or surreal world and language built to it that is also very close to fashion which is also very liberating visually. Um, then we could go more extreme than he usually goes in terms of color. That was really interesting with Alexa because that was a big learning curve for me. The, um, the digital colorimetry is very different to the film colorimetry that I knew a lot better. So I had to learn a lot. And we worked together with the people from Sputnik. They teach me a lot on how to handle the colors to get the Alexa to read them in the best possible way, to then get the colors that I wanted. Sometimes I have to like, you know, put a little bit of another color in the color I wanted instead of like, if you could go like 100% red, the camera is not gonna read it as well as if you go 97% red and 3% white. Um, things that, you know, I would have never known, but I had to go through all that research and studying a little bit of that to understand better and be able to like really play extreme with the colors, uh, but helping the camera to not go crazy because the, the Alexa needs to see, you know, it's reading in the three channels and needs to see that it has information on the three channels. And if you suddenly kill two channels and everything is only one channel, there's like, it doesn't know where to look, like there's something missing. So you have to give it like two drops of something else which are unnoticeable, they're not gonna change your like pure red light, but they help the camera to, okay, then you're speaking the language of the camera and, and it can understand and it can give you a red color better.